This tutorial will guide you through the displaying JSON data in your Angular applications, a common requirement for modern web development. We will look at different ways to fetch and present JSON data making your applications more dynamic and data driven. There are two prerequisites that you make you have to make sure to fulfill. First one you need to have a basic understanding of Angular, TypeScript and JSON and also second one is Angular environment setup with Angular CLI. So after uh, you have both of these requirements fulfilled then we will move on our first scenario is displaying json data from local file so the use case is that often you might have a local json file in your project that contains data you need to display in your angular app so for that let us first create a json file source directory or maybe in the assets so wherever you prefer or you may create another folder for the data and here you can add a file users.ts users. let me rename it to json now here you can add some users like users ray the first user now let's display this data in a component so go to the app component dot html first of all i will add a, add an unordered list and add a list tag and we will use the for loop here so here we are using the latest syntax for the for loop that uh, came in the angular 17 So now let's have a users array in the app component.ts file. Now let's import the users.json file. Okay, now expose this JSON data with the help of the users variable. Here I will use JSON data.users. Okay. Actually, let me move this data folder in the app folder to make things easy. Actually, as the error message is suggesting us that consider using dash dash resolve JSON module to import module with json extension so we have to make some changes in the ts config for that search for the resolve json module it is not here so i will just add it here and make it true okay now you can see the error has gone and now let's reload it so in this list let's display some data okay you can see that the names are being displayed that are coming from this json that we just created here so let me quickly explain uh, that what we have done here here we import the json data directly and iterate over it using angular's new for loop syntax to display each user's details in this list so now let's move on to the second scenario about displaying json data from an api displaying json data retrieved from an external api is a common requirement so let's create a service to handle that api call so for that i will create i will use the command ng generate service and we will name it data and let's go to the data service and i will inject the private http http client service and also let's have a private api url that would be the base url for us okay we will be using the json placeholder the famous dummy json placeholder api that will let you experiment and uh, test the endpoints the rest api endpoints so now let's create a function get users so we are basically using the http service and we are calling the get function and we are passing it the api url that will give us the users in the form of the observable that we will subscribe to next now go to your app component.ts file and here i need to create a constructor and in that constructor i will inject that new service make sure to import this service first call the get data function this dot data service get users dot subscribe let's set these users to the users array so i will just remove it and let's remove this one as well okay now let's give it a quick try reload it and let's see what we have in the network tab it is saying that no provider for http client the reason is that we did not import the http module yet in our app component so let's import it first okay now let's see also we need to add our providers array to add the data service in it all right now you can see everything is working perfectly fine you can see that we are getting the users this request is happening in the network tab and 
we can see the data is coming from there. This component uses the data service to fetch the data from the API. This the response is then bound to a template displaying each item using the for loop. Other than that, you can also display the JSON in the raw form as well by using this command users and pipe it through JSON pipe. And you will see that the entire objects are being displayed. You can also wrap it in the pre tag to format it properly. You can also add it in the code tag. Okay. So displaying JSON data in Angular is a versatile and essential skill. Whether you are working with local JSON files or fetching data from external APIs, Angular's data binding and HTTP client make it straightforward to integrate and present data in your applications. I hope that this video was useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for my upcoming videos. Also, if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comment section. Make sure to like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.